uh, progression over the last year has gone pretty well. Some games I think I could have won and probably been a little bit higher than where I am now, so I'm disappointed in a way as well. I probably could have got into the, my target was to get into the top 32 before the Worlds, but unfortunately missed out by one spot. I'm not too disappointed. I, if, I, if I was going to be where I am and I knew this two years ago, then I would have took it, to be honest with you. The highlight of the year for me probably is being 10-7 up against Adrian Lewis in the world match play and probably feeling a little bit of pressure, but just thinking, oh, you know, win my own legs and hopefully I'll just get over the winning line. And he kept coming back and coming back. And before I knew it, I was 12-10 up. And he started off, I think, with a 41 and I banged in a 180, which was pretty good. And I give it a big one as well. But he was giving it a big one, but I don't mind that. I thrive off that. And some people don't like it, and if they don't like it, like I said, I'm just going to keep doing it even more anyway. But yeah, that's probably the highlight of, of my, my year and my darting career so far. I do actually put a lot of work on the board, and I go to the gym every day, and after the day I'm home, I'm practicing, and I'm into a, probably the same routine every day, so it does get a bit repetitive and a bit boring, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the travelling. I'm enjoying you know, meeting different players and playing against the best in the world, so it's going really well. Beat Daniela Klassen, number 10 in the world. I've played him a couple of times on the Pro Tour, a couple of close games, six fives here and there, and I think he was 2-1 up on me or 3-1 up. But I was always confident that I could that I could beat him. I knew I had the scoring game and as well I could check out and <laughs> it flipped on his head in a, in a way. I, I couldn't score, but my doubles were going in. I think I had five out of six to win the game, which was pretty good. Well, my feelings this year going into the World Championships is that I've got a lot more experience. I'm not playing Peter Wright, which is a good thing, but you know, I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. the crowds and the atmosphere of everything and the whole thing around Christmas. It's nice to be in the tournament after the first round. Hopefully I can get my first win in the World Championship and push on from there, you never know. And I, I might be uh, £300,000 richer at the end of it. I've been drawn against Andrew Gildin. He's not really done that well this year on the Pro Tour, so hence why you haven't seen him much on the TV. But last year, he was flying. He was doing really well on the Pro Tour, going to all the TV events, where I was on the back of it. I'm a lot more confident, a lot more experienced, so I'm looking forward to it. And I think I, think I can come through that game and hopefully play Adrian Lewis in the next round and give him the same as what I did in the match play. If I'd won my last game in the Players' Championship Finals against Ian White, I would have slipped up to number 32. So I don't know if it was a blessing in disguise, to be honest, with to stay outside, because I know my second round game, I would have ended up playing Michael Van Gerwen. So, you know, I've not say I've got a decent draw, but I've got a better draw than some in the first round, and hopefully I can push on from there. There's two players probably who you don't want to draw, and that's the obvious ones, is Taylor and Van Gerwen, but if it came out, you know, it's, it's probably the best time to draw him, which is the first round. It's such a short format and all the shocks happen in the first round. But I was looking forward to drawing Gary Anderson, to be honest with you, because I don't think he can beat me. <laughs> Try and reach the top 16 of the world. I've got to have another good year on the Pro Tour to secure my places in the TV, TV events. And obviously if I get in there, then that gives me an opportunity to force my way up the rankings into the top 16. The talent now and the standard of the game is is unbelievable from what it was maybe five to ten years ago and you know you've got to put the hard work in and I, which I am doing so if I keep doing what I'm doing and putting the hard work in I think maybe over the next two three maybe four years you never know top eight top four maybe number one